Welcome back to Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Sean Anderson, and we sit down now with uh, the head coach of the Punk City High School wrestling team, Coach Jason Levitt, and uh, just uh, got back from the Jinx tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Jinx tournament uh, last weekend. It tell us, uh, not a not a bad showing. Pre pretty good when you add it all up, because there were a lot of uh, a lot of accolades. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, we had uh, three guys in, in the finals. Uh, Dylan Shikram, he got first. He actually had a crazy nine-second fall in the finals. So we sat down and we got right back up pretty quick. He went out and took care of business, and that's pretty good. A nine-second a nine <laughs> nine fall. Nine-second fall, yeah, in the finals. That was it. And the guy was a state champ from Missouri to, uh, the year before last. Wow. So I was I was pretty pretty proud of him for going out there and and then he gets after it. He's a How does he do that? Wrestler. I mean, it was just perfect execution. Just boom. Just it worked. At any moment, he he's there's a chance he can put anybody on their back, yeah. and that was his moment right then. So wow. it was a good deal. His little brother, um, you know, we he got to the finals. Lost his to his little kid. brother was just a little. Bigger than yeah, him, right. Little brother slash big brother. <laughs> right, right, so, right. <laughs> so, you know, he he was in the finals as well. He lost a close match to a kid we beat in, in the finals of Perry tournament. So, um, you know, we just got some things to work on with him. Um, sure. Moving on up to our other finalist, uh, Lane Newland. He he did an outstanding job. Looked solid this weekend. Uh, wrestled really, really well, hungry, ready to win, um, beat a 6A placer to get to the finals. Wow. Uh, it came down the wire. It was a double overtime victory. Um, mm. In the finals, it, it was tied up 2-2, two to two, and we had a 5A state champ who's, who's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, rightfully say, so. Sure. Um, and eight seconds left we get a reverse and beat the guy and, and lane pulls off outstanding wrestler of the tournament so it's pretty oh, cool. wow. big win and and that's a signature win for somebody that can be the turning point in their their entire career so yeah, yeah. well i mean you, you talk about a, a a tournament like this just to give you some perspective uh you're talking sometimes in excess of 20 teams mm -hmm. showing up for a tournament like this to get outstanding wrestler for the entire tournament that is a yeah. big, big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. And, and what makes it even cooler is that, you know, we've been to three tournaments, and two of them, our guy was an outstanding wrestler. <laughs> That's amazing. I know, it's good. And we got yeah. some guys that are ready to compete, and yeah. it's fun. The uh, Punk City Wildcat wrestlers uh, coming in fifth at the Jinx tournament, and uh, now we're getting into the week. And, of course, as you watch this, uh, if you're watching this uh, Thursday or after Thursday, uh, traveling to uh, Stillwater mm -hmm. uh, for a duel with Stillwater, not a tournament, just a duel. Yeah. Tell us what you're expecting down there with the Pioneers. I think they've got a, some guys in their lineup that are, that are solid, and, and you know it'll be a good duel for us, especially at some weight classes. I think there'll be some competitive weights, and um, the expectation is we go compete and compete hard and, and have fun. Now, so. just, to, just to educate uh, not only me, but someone else watching this, Mm -hmm. Is wrestling a lot like uh, basketball and football in in re in regards to watching film? Are you watching their wrestlers yeah. on the mat? Do you trade film? Oh, absolutely. We 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 record every match. Um, our our mat maids they do a good job. They they record, take stats, and kids are on the bus on the iPads watching it the whole way home and. And so they're they're getting they're getting that that second you know view of it because in a match you really don't you don't really think about what you're gonna do it just things just have to come natural and it's just based on feel and you walk off you don't have a clue what you did or how ugly or how pretty it was and so right, right. they watch it over and over again they're like well I could have had it here I could have had this here you know and so this might have been the difference in my match. So it's a lot of fun sitting there watching film with them. I want to see that nine second fall in slow motion. That's what I want to see. I want to, I want it was to, fast. I, oh, I bet. Just, it was fast. Yeah, it exactly. Was uh, Sand Springs tournament coming up on a Friday. This is another one of those big mm -hmm. tournaments. A lot of teams going to be competing. Yeah. What are you expecting to find there? I think it's going to be good. Um, you know, this weekend you'll see Collinsville. They're 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 pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Broken Arrow will be there. Owasso again. Owasso's got a really good team this year. Some big schools. Yeah. Um, Sand Springs, obviously, the host. Um, we'll be there. there it, it's going to be a good, good challenge for yeah. some of our guys. 
Well, and, and in wrestling, you know how the, the, the weights will um, uh, match up with wrestlers. So yeah. really it's not necessarily a case of, oh, that's a big school because yeah. your wrestlers are going to be competing with other wrestlers in their, in their weight class. Right. Uh, how, much of, uh, uh, how much of a difference does that make? I mean, it, it doesn't matter if it's a Jinx or a Wasso or who it is. You can go in there and, and take care of business. Well, we've always said, don't wrestle the man, don't wrestle the singlet. It doesn't matter where they're from. Anybody can be beat. I mean, right. take take Perry, for example. They they have a squad that continually wrestles with some of the biggest schools in the state. And there's, they're, they're a pretty small 3A team. Yeah. And yeah. So it doesn't really matter where you're from. Right. You If, if you got the heart and the fight and the will and, and the work ethic, then, then things are going to turn for you. You're going to get then, some stuff yeah, done. It doesn't matter who you are and... Right. It just matters how hard do you want to work, how how hard do you want to take some risk and put it all on the line. Yeah, absolutely. District duels. We got to talk about this. Uh, the yeah. Pole High wrestlers back in Robson on the mat on January sixteenth, and Coach Levitt. Uh, this district duels three teams, and this this will decide who goes to dual state. Right. I mean, this is it, that's pretty intense. It all comes down yeah. to this. It, it Tell us, does. How, how does it work? How does it work? Three teams. How it'll work is all three of us will wrestle each other. Um, and, and the one that whoever walks out of there with, you know, obviously all the wins is going to get to advance onto the dual state tournament. So, you know, we'll, we'll line up at 3 o'clock and wrestle uh, Big Speed probably. And then uh, 5 o'clock we'll line up, wrestle uh, Sepulpa. And then about 7 o'clock we'll be wrestling Jinx. So... Well, you know, I think those are the two teams it comes down to is us and Jinx. Yeah. Now, um, and, and pardon me, and, and I should know this, but is there an opportunity for individuals uh, to go to state, or is it the team all yes. or nothing? Or Yes. After after the dual state tournament, the very next weekend we'll go to a regional tournament, and, okay. and that will decide who gets to go to the individual state. And you have to place in the top four. Actually, I take that back. New rule this year, you can place fifth, and still go to the state tournament. But you wrestle the fourth place finisher from the other side of the state, and okay. it's a single elimination match. Oh, dear. So you have to wrestle into the state tournament. So yeah. you got to place in the top five. All right. <laughs> New rule. Well, uh, the athletes, you know, this is something that we talk about uh, a lot with the coaches here on this show, and that is uh, academic eligibility. Every coach gets that eligibility report. And uh, we got to say big kudos to athletes at Punk City High School because uh, those eligibility reports are uh, really not a big issue when uh, your athletes are competing in the classroom. You got to be happy yeah. about that. Some kudos uh, to your athletes for academic performance. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, and if, if I'm a parent out there and I don't have a kid involved in any extracurricular activity, um, I encourage everybody to get your kid signed up for something. You know, have sure. another voice on your child in, in, so they can meet the academic requirements and, and then they can move on to be successful. Some, somebody, everybody needs a hero. Everybody needs somebody to look up to. Sure. And, you know, I don't know if I'm somebody's hero or not, but if you can look up to me, great, you know, right. and, and at least have some form of role model. Right. We need those. Yeah. Our society is, yeah. is, is greatly need some somebody right. for everyone to look up to sure and so yeah well coach curry was mentioning earlier on yeah. this uh episode that uh one of his athletes said you know uh if it wasn't for uh, you coach the coaching staff my, my teammates and, and basketball uh i don't know if i would be uh caring and focusing as much as i am on yeah. my schoolwork but they're part of a, a team and a family and I'm sure you get that same thing too. Some of your athletes, they're really stepping up the classroom because they're on a team yeah. and it's important to them. I know it was important for me coming through. It, it was a, my coaches changed me for the yeah. better. Yeah. And so that's, that's why I got back into this. Yeah. And, and I hope I can do that for somebody. If it's just one person, that's awesome. But if it's everybody, that's even better. Yeah, so absolutely. it's worth it. All right, some uh, shout out some of your wrestlers. I know we don't have time probably to mention the entire team, but uh, any uh, athletes you want to uh, highlight as we move into these uh, and tournaments? I think I think with our one thirteen or our one oh six, Shaden Trant and our one thirteen pounder, uh, Chris Humble, they 
they finally got their weight down to a good weight class and and they competed well now now they know they're that they're in matches with people and so they're just going to keep getting better throughout the year um 145 caleb ruff's got you know we got some things to work on but he can get better um uh 95 we're getting we're, we're working on some confidence on our feet and once we get confident on our feet you know we're going to be pretty pretty scrappy and uh heavyweight luke kirchenbauer he's coming around and yeah. and, and he'll he'll hopefully be there in the end of the year all right so. very good all right head coach jason levitt punk city high school wrestling team again headed to stillwater thursday uh friday to the sand springs tournament and then district duels right here in Punk City at Robson Fieldhouse on the 16th. And that is going to be a big uh, night for wrestling. And uh, and you're wanting a big crowd out there. Yes. How, how does that affect your wrestlers? When they when they hear the noise, I mean, it's got to be a positive thing. Well, when the crowd's there and they're loud yeah. and they're involved and the sure. kids see that, it just lets them know that they have all the support in the world. Yeah. Their communities behind them, their student bodies behind them, their their uh, coaches, teammates, administrators, teachers. Sure. And and I think we're 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 getting a lot better on, on doing those things. Okay. I, I think our community is getting a lot better. Yeah. So. Absolutely. For Robson Fieldhouse, we want to see you there, January sixteenth for the district duels. Well, that's going to do it this edition of Coach's Corner. Coach, thank you so much. Thank you. That's head coach Jason Levitt, Punk City High School Wrestling Team. And that's going to do it for this edition of Coach's Corner. Big thanks to Coach Curry, the head coach of the Punk City Wildcat Boys Basketball Team, and to uh, Coach Levitt here. And until next time, thank you for watching. I'm your host, Sean Anderson. You've been watching Coach's Corner.